Here's how to properly install a Canada Pipeline Accessories flow conditioner for all CPA type A, B, and D flow conditioners. CPA's flow conditioners are offered in a variety of flange styles, but here we'll be focusing on the most common ANSI flange styles, ANSI Raised Face and ANSI RTJ. Canada Pipeline Accessories offers two installation styles for ANSI Raised Face, Type A, FOE or flange on end, and Type B, FWO, full width option. For ANSI RTJ, CPA offers the ring type joint female, RTJF, and the male, RTJM varieties. CPA also stocks the 50E, 55E, and 65E in the Type A style. Type B and D are custom made per the particular job. For Type A and Type B ANSI raised face applications, the ANSI raised face flange will be used. The actual ANSI rating of the flange is not needed for the flow conditioner selection. CPA Type A and B flow conditioners are sized based on the flange raised face diameter, which does not change from ANSI 150 to 2500 pressure ratings, so a single CPA can be used in applications with all of these different pressure ratings. CPA Type A flow conditioners are installed so the flange end is typically always pointing upstream. The offset portion will install into the pipe that is immediately upstream of the meter. This ensures the flow conditioner is centered relative to the flow meter, maximizing meter performance. CPA Type B flow conditioners cannot be centered within the pipe as they're simply sitting between the flanges. Extra care must be taken to ensure that the flow conditioner is centered against the raised face surface as any misalignment can result in measurement errors or outright blockage of the outer flow conditioner holes. CPA Type D flow conditioners will be automatically centered due to the RTJ gaskets when the flange is tightened. All flanged CPA flow conditioners will have either a top dead center notch or a top dead center arrow. This is to help ensure that the flow conditioner is oriented within the flange itself. While not critical for other types of measurement, the top dead mark is important to remember in the flow conditioner orientation used during an ultrasonic calibration. For type A and B flow conditioners, the CPA will be sandwiched between two gaskets in the flange. CPA recommends spiral wound gaskets with inner and outer rings. The outer ring helps center the gasket in the flange itself to reduce the chances of the gasket sliding in front of the flow conditioner, which can cause a measurement error. For type D flow conditioners, standard carbon or stainless steel RTJ style gaskets will be used. Canada Pipeline Accessories is the industry leader in flow conditioners, and we can customize them to your needs. To learn more, visit flowconditioner.com. Canada Pipeline Accessories has been leading the world for nearly 25 years. We know what it takes to keep your project moving.